side, what this is doing is we're going to, um, all these lines that I made is where we're going to actually make a little incision. We're going to actually remove, detach this, okay? And then we're going to sew this together again, this edge together again, so it'll lift you. I don't know if I'm explaining myself well. And then this is detached, you know, like we're trying to give you a little earlobe, okay? So it'll detach right here. I'm gonna have you turn a little away from me. Yeah, there you go. You're all the worst part is over. Oh my. Oh. You are just great. Okay, you'll be fine. And you let me know if anything ever bothers you, okay? Nothing ever should, all right? Could you do me a favor? Can you pull that bandage off? Or? So I'm gonna cover you just so your ear kind of sticks out and you can see it. And we're gonna talk about this for a moment, okay? She has what we call a pixie ear. The reason the pixie ear is actually created by having a little neck lift, a little lower face face lift, where when the when the surgeon does the surgery, they reattach. You can see her scar looks really good right here in front of the ear, but they kind of reattach the ear to the side of the cheek here. So it kind of it's like your earlobe is continuous. So it's not a way that not something that people particularly love. So. We can try to, we can fix this actually by just disconnecting it. So you shouldn't feel anything other than my touching you, okay? Mm -hmm. If you feel anything sharp or anything, you let make sure you let me know, right? No. Good, you're doing just great. So she has a little scar tissue here, but despite that, we can try to remove that little area, the connection, you okay? Mm -hmm. okay. And, um, and reconnect it so she should be able to see right away that it's all fixed. You've been dealing with that for a while, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's about time to get that fixed. There's that, and then this is where I'm going to reapproximate the earlobe, and I'm going to take less skin because we have to reshape an earlobe. And if we do that, we have to turn the earlobe under so you lose some of that skin. I'm explaining myself well enough. So let me just take out this little triangle that we have to shoot. You're doing fantastic, right? Nothing mm -hmm. painful, nothing uncomfortable, correct? Correct. Good. As it should be. So taking out this triangle of skin here. I left in the past, that was many years ago. That's why it's like a little whitish here, but look, everything looks good. Just kind of loosen the skin up here so we can close this side to side. I hope you don't mind my little running commentary. Mm, not at all. Okay, I'm good. Not I'm burning. Can you just um, and dab and then just pull this slightly up maybe? Let's see if you can. There we go. Because now I don't want this to be connected to the ear anymore. I'm going to loosen it and close it side to side down here. Good. Let me actually take a little you can drop it now, yeah. I'm gonna take a little extra tissue here so that, because this is scar tissue here. We're gonna put this side to side here. So now, instead of stitching it to her ear, I'm gonna stitch it side to side. Lower this a little bit here so I can see. Positioning that and then make sure a little bit. Looks really good so far. Very good. Just gonna trim a little of this extra tissue here and close this nicely. Because all that's gonna be trimmed side to side here too. So I'm gonna de fat this a little, debulk it. Off. 
So you're gonna come back in in one week and we'll take out these stitches. Okay. Can, have Can you see over there, honey? Mm -hmm. on the side. So let's see here. So the one thing is I want, so now I want to turn this earlobe onto itself and I need to like make it less thick, otherwise it won't turn in as well as you guys can see. Understand that. Does that make sense, you girls? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of doing what's good with people. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna try to undermine it a little, so it will fold over onto itself here. And make sure it's nice. And... Okay, I think that's good. Okay, let's get that together now. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see how Now what we have to do is get it so it's not having a rounded edge right there. I'm going to turn a little bit from that edge right here. Let's see how I use here for this. I'm going to use my hook here. This is the one issue when you have that edge, we want to we keep going up back, you know, keep winding up, up the ear, trying to kind of get that little curve part. So let's see if that, actually I think that's going to be good. Let's try that more stitch down underneath and I think we should be done on this side. Actually a couple stitches right here still.
see how that's gonna sit. I think that's gonna sit nice. It's just swollen right now, so there's a little bit of it that sticks out just a little bit here, a little bit. We want it to, that's the whole point of doing this in the first place, so it's gonna come down with my with this. The swelling comes down. One more stitch. I'm gonna do. I wanna extend it a little bit more. I think I can get it a little bit straighter here. There's too much on one side versus the other. Sorry, I mumbled to myself. And then oh, people on these videos go, why are you talking so your volume is all low? It's because I'm mumbling. Because I mumble to myself. Sorry. We all do. People. They yell at me. It's called being human. <sighs> Maybe it's being called being in their 40s. <laughs> okay, I like it. All right, I'm gonna show you in just a minute too. I think you're gonna like it too. Okay, we're gonna move to the other side. So you can stop that for a moment. now because it is just it's just nummy and puffy see it's all puffy here that's not gonna stay like that so you're gonna have a new earlobe there see the difference already yeah, i can yeah. this is how i used to look yeah it's nice oh and if anything we pulled you a little tighter yeah that looks good i like it they're nice how huh? you like them i love it oh you got your ears back you were waiting for a long time for that to happen huh you are absolutely right yeah.